I've been working on this cabinet for a few days and I thought it was a good time for an update. First up, the control area. I made the decision to restore the existing finish and decals as best I could. So, what I did was I got some Howard's Restore finish, which is oh, a blend of some mild solvents and oils with a bit of pigment, in this case mahogany. You can apply it with just a rag like they show in the photo there and uh, it will help uh, get out any um, off any dirt and uh, wax crud build up on the finish and it will add a little bit of pigment to it but if you really want to get out blemishes and flaws in the finish maybe uh, smooth out some alligatoring use some steel wool, some really fine steel wool nice thing about this is as it says it will not dissolve existing finish so that in combo with some steel wool lets you be pretty aggressive with rubbing with the this ast with this solution acting as kind of a lubricant and uh, came out quite nicely I'd used this before over decals so I knew that it wouldn't uh, damage them because they're underneath the clear coat sure there's a few blemishes here and there but uh, that's what I hope to touch up next so here's the control decals there's a bit of sawdust from well, me working on the other sides but uh, it turned out to be quite legible. And overall the color is pretty good. So, because there's no way I can get the legs off short of uh, using a, a Sawzall or uh, a sledgehammer, because not only are they screwed on, but there's also some biscuit wafers and some pegs, and these are glued on really solid. But these I really wanted to refinish because they were really uh, dinged up. So what I did was I carefully stripped and sanded these while not touching this surface. Couldn't uh, realistically do this surface, but I did from here down. So what I'll be able to do when I spray the rest of the cabinet is I will mask off this whole rectangular area, which uh, should be fairly easy to do. Which just leaves me with the, the challenge of matching the new finish to this color as best I can. Now I did recently refinish an Admiral TV which was the uh, same color it seems to me. So I still have the same toner lacquer I used on that so I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to match this fairly well. It's kind of curious setting down the mahogany because it was quite pink, you can still see kind of the old color here. So first I stripped off this finish, which left me with some very pink looking wood. And once I sanded that, it got lighter and lighter until it's almost uh, yellowy. Quite soft wood too. So I uh, stripped and sanded down, like I said, the legs. I did the sides earlier. And what I've really been working on is filling in all the grain, all the uh, grain and blemishes in the uh, veneer sides and top it's a lot of work it's not much fun but if you want to get a really smooth surface you've got to do it various ways to do it you can get paste grain filler which in hindsight I probably should have used because at least on the new veneer because it was quite porous but I went with shellac so you brush it on, a few coats, sand it, brush on a few coats, sand it, and so on and so on until it gets like this, where I cannot feel the grain anymore. It's nice and smooth. Some areas were a bit recessed, and that's why it's a bit darker here than other areas. So not only is the grain porous, and I wanted to fill that in, but there's actually a little bit of waviness to the surface, and that's why there's some kind of odd dark and light patterns. It's not a problem though, because once I put on subsequent layers of finish, that color difference will just disappear. So as you can see, these, these are the areas that were the uh, most recessed or deepest, so I still have a bit of work to do with filling that in and sanding it down, but I'm down to just these last few spots. I finished with the top. It's really, really nice and smooth now. Remember, the top is the new veneer and the sides are still the old veneer with a few patches here and there. Like here's the piece I cut out and glued in place. Oh, so I have a bit more sanding to do and then I can finally move on to the lacquer.
I finally finished filling in the grain and sanding smooth all the veneer surfaces. It's really nice now. By way of comparison, here's some untreated veneer. And this is really rough and scratchy with all these open pores, whereas this is like a sheet of glass. It takes time, it can be a little messy, but it's best to get it right at this stage because any flaws in the surface are just going to keep getting mirrored as I put on subsequent layers. What I'm doing now is preparing the surface to spray it with some lacquer. What I want to do is get rid of every last bit of dust, dirt, and whatnot so it doesn't stick to the finish or get embedded in the finish. So I'm using a microcloth. I like these a lot better than tack cloths. Uh, a tack cloth is a piece of cheesecloth that's impregnated with kind of a gooey, rubbery substance. That'll pick up dust fine, but sometimes some of that gooey stuff can get stuck on the wood or leave a residue, then you have to clean that off. Whereas these uh, are washable and they really, really pick up the dust well. I'm also shooting with a little bit of compressed air. They sell these for computers um, to clean up the keyboards and fans and stuff. So works great in furniture too. And then I really want to get this control area with this sanding sealer. I need to mask this off when I spray the sides and I'm afraid if I put masking tape right on this that I might lift off the old finish when I peel it off. So this is just a clear coat that will stick to just about anything and protect it. So uh, I'm going to spray this on, spray the sides, do a little light sanding and then move on to the uh, toner lacquer. This stuff dries real quick too, only about half an hour to an hour. It's been a couple hours since I sprayed in the lacquer sanding sealer and it's nice and dry now. A few little fuzzies here and there though, probably from dust that settled on it while it was drying. So I'm going to give it a very light sanding before proceeding. I'm going to use this 400 grit Norton sandpaper. I like this stuff because it uh, has a real consistent uh, surface to it and uh, lasts a long time. When you buy a 20 pack like this it's pretty economical too. And for a sanding block, uh, what I've been using all along is this nice cork sanding block that's very, very flat. I like these a lot better than some of the sponges I've seen sold in home improvement centers because this uh, gives you a very even distribution of pressure as you sand versus the sponges, which uh, can be a bit uneven. I finished giving the cabinet a light sand and then I masked off the control area. So now I'm finally ready to give this a shot. Mohawk Ultra Classic Toner Deep Red Mahogany. I did a little test spring and it seems to be a pretty good match. So I'm going to head out on the back porch and uh, start giving this a few coats. Well here it is after about six coats of toning lacquer. I think it came out pretty good. I'm especially happy with the top and the sides. Legs are a little bit trickier just because of the uh, the nature of having to get all around all four sides and underneath the cabinet and so on. But even so, I think it came out pretty good. I'm going to leave it out here for a while to dry a bit and take it inside and pull off the masking. And, uh, well, hopefully I won't have to touch anything up, but if I do, it's not the end of the world. Simple technique is to take the can of spray toner, spray it into the cap to get some of the... Uh, the lacquer and then dip a paintbrush into it and just dab it on the, the touch-up areas. So while I wait for that I'm going to move on to some other things. Here's the other major task left on the cabinet. This is the frame that goes around the picture tube. It's very much like a picture frame. I've already stripped it down. It's in pretty good shape. Basically uh, just one chip here and a bit of a ding here. I'll try to fill those in. And then I need to refinish it. This is a little bit trickier because this is supposed to have a gold um, gold paint on this inner part of the frame here. I do have some specialty metallic spray paint that I think will look perfect, but it's spray enamel, and enamel and lacquer don't get along too well. In particular, the uh, if you put lacquer over enamel, it'll uh, start bubbling and and uh, look really horrible, kind of like uh, pickling. So what I'm going to try doing is to spray the enamel on first and then spray it with shellac, which is a good sealer between the two, and then just spray the lacquer on top of that. 
So what I'm thinking is specialty metallic brass or gold on the frame, then shellac, then it'll dry for a few days, then mask this off, and then spray the outer frame with the um, red mahogany toner lacquer. Take off the masking and then clear coat the whole thing with a few coats of gloss lacquer. And I'm hoping that'll work out okay. Here's the cabinet after about five coats of this deft clear gloss lacquer. I think it came out real nice. I'm going to need to let this dry for about a week before I can rub out the finish. That will uh, buff out this finish and remove any minor imperfections that may remain. Then I'll put on a coat of wax and I can call this cabinet done. The last bit of work I'm doing on the cabinet is the control area. There were a few nicks and dings and some finish loss here and there, so I've been taking a fine paintbrush and dipping it into uh, clear lacquer and toner lacquer depending on the, the type of damage and just filling in these voids uh, as best I can. Then I'll spray the whole thing with a couple clear coats and then sand out any bumps that are remaining and uh, I think that should be it. So, I still have to wait a few more days for this lacquer to cure up before I can rub it out, and I will pick up recording then. That's all for now.